Hey guys, Peter Steel here, back with another video, and we're taking another look at a glorious disaster save. This one is uh, Austria-Hungary, I always have a soft spot for the country, and things are not looking too good. Yeah, let's just, let's just see how bad this really is. Okay, Iron Man mode is not on, for some reason. At least the historical AI is on, so let's see if uh, this man cheated. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, we seem to be at war with a lot of people. Okay, so we've got a Massive common turn with apparently the Kingdom of Romania in it. France flipped communists. The capital is in Calais, so they probably had their civil war here and the communist won. Victor Emmanuel is back and we've got a German Empire. Fine. Uh, what do we do here? I think we need to make sure Italy doesn't completely fall over. That's gonna be the first cause for concern. Let's just check everything else. How are we looking here? Most of this is reasonable, I suppose. Most of the focuses are done. Establish the air force. Yeah. Yeah, not much else you can do. You've got most of the important bits, I suppose. It is 41. Iran total mobilization. I like that, but what's your manpower looking like? Okay, you've got women in the workforce, so that's good. Ex yeah, we can mobilize about 3% more of the population, so manpower should be taken up slowly again. Oh yeah, I haven't reintegrated the empire yet, which means, ideally, <laughs> Italy would lose its uh, Balkan holdings so we can take them off them and then get our cores in the region. But all in all, I think we can still make something happen here, even without those cores. Uh, army. Army. That's not a big army, my friend. Where's your tanks? What? Okay, army. Uh, we, ne we need to organize this. Uh, this is just a mess. Okay, so I've somewhat reorganized your army. I think our first concern is not so much the Soviet Union. Sure, they, they, they are threatening, but... Romania is at our doorstep, so my suggestion here is to stomp out this front first. Just focus on dealing with Romania. Though I do think Bulgaria is in as well, so eventually the pressure is gonna mount and we should be able to deal with the area. Just aggressively attack. But before we do that, what do your divisions look? Oh, okay, so this is not bad. It's a heavy hitter. I don't like it though. I prefer something slightly smaller 21 combat with it's a lot easier on the industry and the manpower especially considering our manpower situations support anti-tank and single player just nah you don't need it you'd rather get support artillery armored recon this is actually pretty good but do we have the tanks for it hmm, I'll have to check does your armor division look like it's massive okay 42 combat with is on the higher end of the scale but I think it's still competent but you won't want logistics companies in this obviously and considering the size of these divisions ideally you would also get signal companies yeah you're researching those all right so infantry back down to 21 combat with uh, tanks I'll not touch these I think these are good we'll see how is your research signal companies yes yes Ugh, special forces are useless don't bother just work on your industry improved anti-air okay that's good more industry will be good or air y you need airplanes artillery everything is a little bit oh no yeah, I'm gonna need to start work on tanks because you don't have no step back, I think. Word of advice here, though, in general, as far as research goes, prioritize the industry. Make sure none of this falls behind. It's not exactly behind, but you could start researching these now. In terms of infantry, you're well caught up. This is good. Do not bother with special forces. It's pointless in single player. Completely pointless. Support companies, good. You've got the important ones. Armor, well, I'm not gonna comment on armor since uh, well, you didn't have no step back. Ideally, you wanna start researching these early so you can make the good ones. Artillery as well, y you've done well, uh, but avoid anti-tank. It's quite pointless in single player. Just get artillery and anti-air. This is more than enough. And air, you, you kinda want fighters. Fighters and casts, mm, delicious, nutritious, you want these. As far as the rest goes, pretty okay. Uh, but the radar branch, you kinda want more of these because each one of these techs improves the radios, actually, for your tanks. And just boosts your overall coordination stat. Now, with these divisions changed, I'm going to aggressively attack. Try to crush what's left of Yugoslavia and smash Romania. Push them out of our territory and get some good stuff. Meanwhile, we will need to train up more divisions. As many as possible. Like another run of 24. Nah, no, I think 22 will do. I have two divisions in reserve. We don't really have them 
manpower for them though. We'll see if we can get them built. As for decisions, nothing important here. Maybe war bonds could be helpful. And you're not building anything. Why? Start building stuff. Mills and maybe the occasional synthetic refinery. All right, so for the officer corps, I'm not gonna touch this. You've gone with superior firepower, but it's 1941 and you still only have the first tech. That's a little bad. You kind of want more by now, but it is what it is. Okay, I'm gonna try and crush Romania and then deal with the French. Okay, okay, new plan. One army is gonna redeploy to France and try and make use of the fact that there's apparently nobody here. You guys rush over there. Second army, you will have to hold this line to prevent the Romanians from walking into our capital. And that leaves us with the tanks that are quite useless. Let's see what those can do. All right, time to unpause and see just how disastrous this is gonna be. Oh, wait, do we have an air force? Eh, might as well not have one, but okay, I'll just send those over to France. Do need more manpower though. This is just, this is bad. If we can deal with France quickly though, that would mean the entire flank here is freed up. Also, I just noticed that Netherlands are in the Allies and the Allies are at war with us, Italy, but not Germany. Also, they're at war with us. So like everyone's at war with everyone, but fortunately Germany's not in that war. I, look, this has gone off the rails. I'm not gonna comment on it because I don't know what the hell happened here. I'm just gonna try and barely cling onto my country while I try to fix the AI's mess. We'll counterattack in Romania while they all seem to be out of supply and out of position. Good, good. Exploit French weakness. Maybe we can get a breach here. That would be great. Italy is falling at a rapid pace though. I, I need these guys ready to deploy, but I don't, I don't have the manpower to do that just yet. France suddenly found itself an army to defend itself with. The first couple of weeks are going to be the hard part. If we can get past this, there's hope. I love your tanks. I, I love how they have all of their equipment and none of their manpower. This is so bad. I want to use these as breakthroughs, but considering their strength right now, they, they're virtually useless. Oh, before I forget, I should probably check your production. Um, this is fine. Don't need anti-tank. This is fine. Light tanks, don't need that many. Definitely don't. Medium tanks, uh, could probably use a bunch more. Also use a bunch more casts. Don't need that much on infantry equipment. Everything looks decent. We'll expand these numbers as we get more factories. Considering our stockpiles are pretty well into the green, I, I think we're comfortable. I mean, overall you've done well, but you somehow managed to get caught with your pants down in regards to Romania. I think that was the thing that got you. Romania joined the common turn somehow and just immediately went for your heart. That and classic Italian incompetence here. Pushing into France quite handily though that is very good we can make the French fall over quickly we'll be good we also managed to push the Romanians away from our capital somewhat slightly now we can liberate the rest of our country oh boy it looks like looks like the Bulgarians are coming up from the south as well so yeah R Romania is gonna fall over and die that's good that's settled Soviet front is very lightly held by Germany so we'll need to reinforce that as soon as we can there's there's quite a few Frenchmen showing up here uh, maybe halt the offensive and and reposition, we are getting a little overextended and I wish we had a little more support from our German allies. Things are getting hairy in France and we have pushed Romania out of Hungary itself though, that's good. Air Force established, like I said, not, not much interesting stuff left. Uh, could get some claims here, eh, sure. Bucharest has already fallen. Nice. Oh, that's actually Bulgaria being useful for once. Okay, reserves are starting to pop out. Immediately deploy them on the Italian front before they um, completely fall over. But Italy is actually holding, mostly because I'm drawing all of the French and Soviet troops in the West away to defend France. That, and I'm tying up a lot of troops in Romania right now. Oh yeah, everything's coming up Austria-Hungary. We are definitely back in control now. Yugoslavia is dealt with. We just need to crush Belgrade. Romania has has been pushed back to what, a few victory points at most. Let's see, where are they? Um, yeah, they'll fall soon enough. And the French, well, there's still a lot of troops here, but once I can free up some troops from the east, I should be able to crush France relatively easily. And remarkably, the Italians are taking back parts of their country from the south. The non-stop attacks are starting to cost me though, both in terms of manpower and sanity. Just need a ton more manpower. If I can get my manpower issue fixed, I think we're done. I, I think this is saved if we can get the actual, you know, manpower into the field. Paris is taken. That's a start. Yeah, the French are dealt with. Yeah, I think it's mostly Soviet troops holding their line as well. Oh no, Italy completely abandoned its border with Yugoslavia and just... Oh, Italy. 
Mussolini is peak incompetence. Oh, well, that just gives me opportunities, I guess. Oh, I hate it. So as soon as Romania falls over, which will be soon, I'm gonna need to redeploy that entire army to quickly deal with Yugoslavia, who have suddenly grown in size by a lot. Okay, impressive, Yugoslavia, impressive. I'll, I'll give you that much. Okay, there goes the Romania. Oh, yeah, of course, there's a bunch of Russian troops still there. Nice. Okay, so after a lightning campaign in the Balkan, we are once again in control of all of our own territory. Plus, we managed to snag Transylvania. So this is going to be our core, eventually. Yugoslavia is on life support here, mostly because Italy decided to move all of its troops away for some reason. That's fine, we'll just come back in and crush them. Take that territory for ourselves. Italy is a holding in Italy itself. And we're pushing in from the Alps once again, crushing the French. France is just incompetent in every form it takes and France itself has been completely overrun by the Germans with our help it's just mostly Russian troops here still holding that should be over soon enough once all that is finished we can swing around and deal with the Russian juggernaut a Soviet Union will fall I just wish I had manpower oh those are nice pockets there goes whatever's left of the French army and some more up here oh they're all they're all gonna go and disappear and then there's just the south of France left nice and with that we'll border the Spanish again and we can trade with the Portuguese good ah there goes the French army the French commune has capitulated now there's just a mopping up operation left oh boy Europe looks like a gigantic mess though with all those pockets of Soviet troops well, so far our losses have been fairly minimal 300,000 men lost yeah could be worse we have destroyed quite a few Frenchmen I was gonna say we've inflicted some massive casualties but I think most of those will count for the Germans in closing the pockets. Oh well, we're still winning. We're still winning. Austria-Hungary is big on the map. And there goes Yugoslavia. Maybe I can get some land trades done with Italy because I just need Croatia, Slovenia, and Dalmatia, and I can reform the empire. That will give me a bunch of cores. So maybe I can trade some Russian land for some Balkan land. Maybe. Uh, Italy has claims though. I don't think they'll be willing to give those up. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, important part is that we have beaten another enemy. So time to man the front lines okay so france is secured italy is more or less secured so i'm just gonna start heading to the russian front and do some damage there yeah i'm gonna give italy some inconsequential land to the north and maybe they'll be willing to give me some of the stuff i need down south here god the ai is such a greedy bastard you've done nothing but lose and you still think you deserve all of the good stuff come on italy i'm giving you stuff for free just work with me here come on man seriously italy you have 10 percent war participation i have twice that and you're still not giving me croatia i've given you half of poland you've not even been here with your troops will you give me croatia now Yay! I only had to give them half, well, more than half of Poland, just so I could get Croatia. And they still will not give me Slovenia and Dalmatia, the last two provinces I need to reintegrate the empire, because technically they have a claim on it, and if they have a claim, the AI will never give that territory up. Little unfair. I'll, I'll just have to hope they get naval invaded and I can retake the, uh, the territory. As for our offensive into the Soviet Union, well, with most of their army dying in the Balkan and uh, France, that there's not much of a Soviet army left. Well, there's still a lot of divisions left. They're just, yeah, they're not doing very well. They are literally melting before our onslaught. Also, through all of that fighting and reorganizing and just, just overall winning, the tank divisions are still not at full strength. Recovering manpower takes so long. We can still mobilize another percent of our population. You know what? I'm gonna go up the service by requirement. Mobilize even more men. Always need more men. The industry is fine. I've got stock. Ooh. Ooh, I might need to build a couple more AA guns, but the industry overall is fine though. We're fine. Look at that. Italy's naval invading the Dutch. Why? I don't know. It would be easier if we just called Germany in. Let's see if we can call Germany in. Oh, we could. Come on, Germany. Germany is just gonna ignore that apparently. It says they'll accept and then nothing. All right, fine. Still a little annoyed that Italy will never give away Dalmatia and Slovenia. It's the last two bits we need and we'd be able to get a bunch of cores and extra factories from all that occupied territory. Just want to reintegrate the empire. So many free cores. Oh, the German Empire is in, so that should see the Dutch overrun soon. Hopefully. 
Maybe? Ooh, maybe I can uh, send my tanks in. They can they can have a test drive. They've not really done much for the entire game, but maybe, maybe this is the time. All right, as is tradition, we have immediately started losing because there are so many American troops in the Netherlands already. Yeah, thanks for waiting until 1941 to join this war, Germany. Very helpful. Now there's so many allied troops here, we cannot do anything. Not to mention their air force as well. Yay! Thanks, Germany. You've just opened up another front for us. Oh boy, I still need so much manpower. Wish these would mobilize a little quicker. Yeah, just look at the amount of allied troops that have flooded into the Netherlands already. We're, we're not breaking this anytime soon. I need more air power. Japan has now joined the war against the Russians. Yeah, that's probably the final nail in the Soviet coffin. Resume the offensive and we'll crush them. This is super annoying though. There's just so many allies here. You know what the Kurt rate? If we can just capitulate the Soviets and if if I can kick these allies out of Europe, I think we can call this safe. Well, it is safe, but I will declare victory at that point. Ideally, I'd get my hands on Slovenia and Dalmatia, but Italy's never gonna give those up, so not much I can do about that, um, unless there's like a lucky naval invasion here that I can benefit off from. Oh, Italy. <sighs> Why are you like this? You're you're losing Italy itself. I'm not bailing you out a second time, not until I can seize your territory. Why attack Greece? What's the point? <sighs> I wish the AI was just a little more clever about deciding where to attack. Well, I'm not bailing Italy out this time. If, uh, if it comes to it, I'll simply let them capitulate and then take that stuff from them. By that time, I should be done in the Soviet Union. Yeah, Soviets are getting their teeth kicked in and I can swing those troops around to take whatever territory I need. Also, it looks like a lot of these allied divisions have been leaving the Dutch, so the Netherlands are about to fall. That's great. I, th I think they're redeploying to Italy. That would make sense. Yeah, I'm convinced the Soviets don't stand much chance right now. And we've just cut off their entire Caucasus front, so bye-bye oil and... That's a lot of divisions. Ah, this is a good opportunity, actually. Uh, I'm gonna let this naval invasion happen. I'm gonna pull back my armor. If I just keep the troops on, on this border so they don't take any of my territory, I can exploit this Italian weakness quite a bit. Oh, you bastards, take Italy's land, not mine. Unfortunately, Italian incompetence is only rivaled by British incompetence here, and these divisions haven't moved at all. Despite having clear avenues into Italian held territory, they're just sitting there. Really wish you'd take Dalmatia there, UK, so I could take it off you. Okay, so the UK took a couple more victory points, so they technically control Dalmatia. I'm going to counterattack now from my territory and see if I can seize the land for myself. It does seem to be working, so hopefully I can really give Italy a bad day with this. They deserve all the bad days they can get. Yes! <laughs> Dalmatia's mine. I'd only need Slovenia, but eh, it's extremely unlikely that we'll get our hands on it like this. But hey, we've got a coastline again, so there is that. Just one province away from being able to restore the empire. Just give me Slovenia, Italy. Give me Slovenia. And that's the last of the Caucasus front about to be destroyed. We must have inflicted some massive casualties to the Soviets. Yeah. We've contributed 1.3 million casualties. We've almost caught up to Germany. Nice. I think the only way for me to get my hands on Slovenia is to take it in the peace deal. But they're in the Chinese United Front for some reason and Japan's not really looking too hot. Oh, well, maybe. We'll see what happens. We'll see. I, I don't think I'll be playing for that long. It's 1942, so it's still relatively early, but this disaster is pretty much over. Once the Soviets capitulate... Oh, I was gonna say once the Soviets capitulate, that's it. But um, maybe I should go and bail Germany. Germany out. Uh, I'm still happy how we backstabbed the useless Italians here. This was very beneficial for us. If only we could have done the same with Slovenia. Maybe if I waited a little longer, I could have got my hands on Slovenia as well. But oh uh, well. You know, I've just looked at Africa and this is so weird. Sierra, Le Sierra Leone's kind of kind of big. I think the UK decolonized or something, but they're still democratic. Oh, oh yeah, they're they're quite red. Yeah, I think they've gone decolonization. So I mean, technically that's just more stuff for us to take in an eventual peace deal, right? Oh, they're not even in the allies. Ah, there goes the Soviet Union at last. First, let's take the stuff we definitely need, the Banat and Transylvania stuff, good. And everything else, we can just try to have a little fun. I'm gonna puppet Romania because why not? And 
and maybe we can puppet some more. Never forget that someone added this state in this shape to this game, knowing exactly what it looked like. Ah, Kiva. Ah, that is a classic, disgusting peace deal. We've got a nice, juicy Bourbon France puppet that lost half of France. Oh well. Then we've got a very, very thick Russian puppet that has pretty much all of its territory except for some stuff up here. So I'd say we came out of this pretty well. All we really need to do is kick the Greeks out, kick the UK out of Italy if we so want to, and we're done here. I mean, the US is in this war, so I'm not gonna fight this one to completion. I'd say this is saved. Your Austria-Hungary is in an excellent position. One thing I do regret is not getting my hands on Slovenia. I suppose we could meme it by letting the Italians fall but really I, I don't want to rely on the AI for anything. So I'm just going to call this one saved. I think we're done here. I love playing Austria-Hungary games, so I'm very happy that you sent me one. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, leave a like, consider subscribing, and hit that bell icon to be notified whenever I upload more content. Also, if you guys are interested in some of the DLC, check out my link to the nexus.gg storefront. I have all of them listed there. Support the channel by buying some DLC there. Thank you very much, and uh, check out this next video video. I'm sure you'll love it.